Good morning, YouTube. Welcome in. Today, we've got a beautiful build for you. This one is absolutely killer. The reason we say killer is because this is all white out with very minimal RGB. Let us know what you think down below in the comments. Today, we're building with something beautiful in this case. It's a brand new Antec P20 case. It's a performance series. New case. Let us know what you think of the aesthetic. I think it looks absolutely killer. We wanted to build in it. It looked really good. We're going to get our first initial thoughts and impressions here as well in the video. And on top of that, Deep Cool sent us over their brand new uh, PXG 1000 watt ATX 3.0 power supply in white. Yes, we're talking a white ATX 3.0 factory ready power supply. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that follow button and subscribe button. And remember, we build these systems live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over at our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash stints. And we hope to see you soon. Look at all those beautiful white parts. We're talking beautiful white parts without RGB. Okay, there's a little RGB. I'll take that back. The graphics cards have a little RGB, and the RAM will have RGB, and a little bit on the cooler. But everything else, no RGB, okay? All right. Look at this. First off, look at this chat. We've been waiting for this to come in. This is the brand new PSU from Deepcool. It's their ATX 3.0 power supply. It's their PXA 1000G FC. It's the ATX 3.0 power supply. It's not ATX 3.0 ready. It's not PCIe 5 ready. Well, it is PCIe 5 ready. It isn't the legitimate ATX 3.0 power supply. I believe these are actually manufactured in partnership, potentially with Seasonic. If it's not directly OEM, I'm not sure. I, I should have definitely checked with that. All I know is after reading some of the initial thoughts and specs on this, which we'll make sure to put in the video down below on our YouTube page, this is looking to be one of the best ATX 3.0 power supplies on the market for the price. If not, what are the best in general? So I'm really excited for that. It's going to today's system. It's got flat cables as well. They did a really good job on this. So let's get started on it and uh, get this build going, right, chat? So first off, let's start on this motherboard. Today we have the MSI Z790 Edge Wi-Fi. So we're gonna top down, take a look at that. Let's get the CPU out. Motherboard is all out. Let's get the CPU out. First, today's CPU is a 13700K. Strong beard, yes, it is. At least dial in your settings. I would definitely check out our, uh, our optimization. I would check out our optimization and definitely go through a strong beard, 100%. Especially the RAM, like fine tuning your RAM and your CPU. Yeah, for Tarkov, big time. We have a one terabyte KC3000 for on today's system. Down we go with the KC3000, one terabyte NVMe. Good to go. Chat, let me grab the cooler. Today we have the LT720, all right? This is a cooler we haven't had in a while. You can see it right here. Rear camera, there it is, looking beautiful. We're just gonna get our standoffs in place for the cooler. Then off are all in place. Let's get working on a RAM chat. 6600 megahertz today is what we're going with on the on the 13.7. Beautiful Delta RGB. There we go. I love the way this Delta RAM looks. There we go. All nice and in. I got board chat. That looks great. We were off some RGB, like I said today. Nothing on the board, just a little bit on the RAM, a little bit on the cooler, a little bit on the graphics card. Everything else will be white. We call this one the Siren, like Siren of the Seas. Get it? You know, that's gonna be the name of this build. It's gonna go on our uh, quick ship slash curated system here, probably later today. Let's talk about it. Like I said, first off, Z790 Edge Wi Fi board, 13700K. We've got a one terabyte NVMe Gen 4 drive at 7,000 megabytes in the KC3000 from Kingston. And we have 6600 megahertz of DDR5 coming in from Team Group and the Team Force Team Delta RGB. Beautiful system here. I'm gonna slide this aside and we get it working on the case today. The P20 today. This is the, like I said, a newer case. From Antec. All right, initial thoughts on the P20 performance from Antec. Let's get it down and see what we think. All right, what are we thinking, chat? I think that looks pretty good. This is great. I want to see this front panel. Oh, is this one we can print on? Ooh, might be able to print on that. What do you think, Harry? Should we start printing on these? I like the, I like the, uh, the clip-in fan. That's nice. Three white non-RGB fans ready to go, like that. Okay. Okay, Antec. All right. Slides off just like that. Rubber grommets, chat. Do we see this? Rubber pass through in white. That's nice. Type C. This is clean. And it's got the GPU support bracket built into the case. Chat, this was a, I'm pretty sure it's like a hundred dollar case. The fact that we have this built in, I don't have to go out and buy another riser, another um, vertical, like a GPU support bracket. It's pretty awesome for the price too, because this is not a bad one either. These are actually more low profile. These like GPU support brackets and it's not going anywhere. That's really nice. It's got a lot of space here. Let me uh, show you the back of this. Cable management, a lot of tie down. They come with two tie downs, like Velcro tie downs. I will say there's one or two things right now that I'm really, I'm kind of like, hmm, about. And I'll show you, you see all the pass-throughs here? 
really nice. What I don't get, and you might not be able to see very well, is they have pass-throughs over here where the motherboard is. You can see them right here, the rubber grommets. But they don't have it right here for the GPU cable, which not a big, not a big deal. But it would just be cool to have that same kind of consistency there. They do also, have, you can actually put two fans right here too. They have the fan mounts on the top of the power supply shroud. That's a W. Very wide case. Do you see how wide this case is, by the way? It doesn't look super wide here because the box looks small, but it's pretty wide. And then on top of that, you can fit, probably fit a 4090 in here pretty comfortably with a top mount. We're gonna see how the top mount fits today. Because we are gonna top mount this bad boy. So we take the, the top out, out. But I am impressed. Like I said, this is a $100 case. Two USB, it's got type C up top. And oh, by the way, chat, this is a big W. All white cables. All white cables. That means U USB 3.0 headers in white. Hello? For 100 bucks, man, this is a compelling case. Let's, uh, let's, let's take a look at it more. I'm gonna take the uh, box out. We're gonna go top down. Now let's see if, you know, the real question is, did they give us silver or black screws? Because every, I see on everything on here right now, chat, the standoffs are black, which is fine. Every other screw is silver too, to go with the aesthetic. The silver on the back of the, of the PCIe slots, the silver on the fan screws for the front. If they gave us silver, silver screws for the rest of the case, who cares? We care. People care, dude. We, people care about the quality and the performance and the aesthetic. If they have all that, that's a big win. All right, so let's go, um, let's go top down and take a look at everything. People like, uh, some people like silver screws instead of black with their, their systems. All right, guys, motherboard's all in. Let me check all of our screws, all our standoffs. Right. All right, give me that front close up really quick. Flip this up and spin it around. We're working on the front panel connections. The more and more I build in this case already, I, I like it. We'll see how the top mount fits. That's the big, the big thing. How well is a top mount 360 fit in this case with everything going on? I love that they're white cables, chat. To have white cables here is huge W. You don't see it a lot and it's really cool to see here on this system. There we go. All right, um, cables looking good on the back. I'll show you a little close up what we're just doing there to make everything look nice and neat. Um, next, we're gonna work on the power supply, all right? We're gonna deep cool power supply. So let's get our first initial thoughts. We haven't opened them yet. We've had it here for a couple of weeks. Um, deep cool sent over. They wanted us to get our thoughts, our opinions on it. So, you know, we're gonna do it right now. So let's put this beautiful new case as well. We got new case, new power supplies today. Love to see it. Like I said, the new PXG or PX1000G in white. This is a white power supply, ATX 3.0. Right out of the get-go, which is great to see. Killer stuff. Let's see how this opens up. I love the packaging. Deep Cool's packaging has been on point. I mean, this looks really, really good. This is really cool looking for a power supply, too. Really well protected. A lot of high-density foam. I mean, this is the uh, softer play. Well, they don't call it high-density, but it's more of a... Um, it's meant to be able to hit, handle more transit, more impact, versus like one drop. This is meant to hold multiple. You know how people are. Like I said, this is the new, brand new power supply from Deep Cool, the PX1000G in white. Oh, it comes even white fans, white and the, the lime green, what the stencil color is. Look at that thing, chat. That is pretty. Really good looking capacitors on the inside. Cables all look really good. The connections look good. The white power supply. The hybrid mode as well. Look at the, even the green power cable. Give you a manual. Whew, they even give you the white power cable. Okay. Let's see if we can look at the rest of these cables. They even, even give you a white tester. They give you silver screws, which goes the aesthetic for today. That's a W. They give you some more white Velcro ties as well. They are flat cables, which is what I love. I'll tell you right away if it feels like a Seasonic. It's a Seasonic. I know it. I know it. It's got to be either CDT or Seasonic. We've got our PCIe cables, which if you're going for a lower end card, they give you a single PCIe, which is awesome. 4070s, 4060 Ti's, 4060s, 4050s, probably coming before long as well. This has a standard eight pin to eight pin connection, which is great to see. None of those daisy chaining of cables, that's a big win. And then here's, oh no they didn't, did they really? That looks so good. That's a 12 volt high power. They did it in flat. It's not that braided, ridiculous nonsense that everybody else is doing. This is nice. And if I would say the one thing that I'm surprised they didn't do is they did not include, oh, they, even, even their PCIe, they have multiple PCIe. You have three PCIe cables and they're all singles. This is 100% a Seasonic. This has got to be a Seasonic power supply. The only people I know that do that, they're all singles, which is really good. So if you have any RTX 30 series cards that are on a single 
it's nice to have, not have the daisy chain. They're all single individual power delivery, which is really good to see. I mean, you've got Molex, you've got all your SATA cables, a white tester. The only thing I think would have been really cool to keep with a premium vibe with this otherwise premium product would be to do a, some kind of pouch. Some kind of pouch. Nobody wants to keep a box like this around. There's nothing there, but hey, I'll tell you what, chat, it's stunning. Stunning power supply. It, go, it looks great with this already, I can tell. Let's get this all in. Cables are seating super nice. Definitely want to do this before you put a uh, chat. You definitely want to put your power supply in before you run the top mount. Definitely on this case. It is very tight up here. Snip these and start working on the cooler, chat. Grab this cooler. LT720 today. All right. Mans are all attached. Get these kind of cables. There's twist ties off these fans. And then we're ready to mount this already, chat. We don't have a lot of RGB. It's a pretty, uh, it's a bit faster on this one to run because we don't have to mount the uh, anything too wild. We're gonna mount this pump, chat. Machine, the machine, how fine the machine threads are on these screws. You can literally just grab one of the, the uh, pretty much the nuts and throw it right on the and just spin it, finger tight and spin it like really like one one like quick swipe and it's like pretty much on, which is really good. Then you're gonna align it and just tighten it down. And it's fantastic. See this all aligned and tightened up? Oh, this pump looks, look at this chat, it looks so good. All right, chat, tell me this thing mounted. How does it fit? Oh, it fits pretty dang good, chat. All right, this might be a new case for us, Rode. I was surprised that they were able to mount the fan, the, the rad and also at the same time. Plenty of clearance on the RAM, by the way, chat. And also accessibility up here. I did not expect that. I expected this case to be a lot smaller, so let me get a front close up here. There's actually a lot of space in this new Antec case. Deep cool, don't get mad that I'm using an Antec case today, but man, this thing is pretty nice. I will say it's a very nice case for the price, though. It's like 100 bucks. Comes with the three front fans, a 360 top mount, built-in GPU support bracket, white cables, all of the front cables. Like the connections are in white, all the screws are in silver. They thought about the, the aesthetics, which a lot of cases manufacturers, not people though, sometimes uh, neglect. Let's grab our GPU now, that's all we have left. 4070 Ti, not only 4070 Ti, we have the white Gaming X Trio. Oh my Lanta, this looks good. I think it's one of the best looking cards on the market. There it is, chat, look at that thing. Shush! Let's get take a, take a look at it. Let's get these three slots out that we need today for the card. Only two manufacturers I know right now that are doing the built-in GPU support brackets. Antec clearly shown right here. And deep cool. All right, I think this card in chat. Hear that funk. You ready for it? Here we go. And we go with the RTX 4070 Ti Gaming X Trio in white from MSI. Oh my God, it's just perfectly right there. Here we go. Want to reach that thunk? One, two, three. There it is, chat. I heard that thunk. Hope you did too. All right. Look at this. Oh my God, the flexibility. Well, also the, the connector feels super solid. Oh, it feels great. I'm pumped for these, I'm pumped for these. And we go with the click. Look at that. Look at this thing. Absolutely beautiful, look at that. Look at that chat. That is, let's give you a front close up. Look at this beautiful system, look at that. Shush! Would you look at it? Look at that thing. Let's get it ready to light it up, let's go. Guys, thanks for another awesome video. Thank you for stopping and showing us the love here on our YouTube channel. If you like what you see, make sure to hit that like button. If you like what you see even more, hit that sub button. And remember, we build these PCs you see live here on our YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday now over at twitch.tv slash stints. Come over, say hello, watch us build the PC, and ask any questions you have, and let's go.